Hello guys, I'm back again. So <laughs> this is the third time I'm recording this video. The first time OBS didn't capture the Udemy, the second time it didn't turn on the microphone. So this is the third time <laughs> I'm recording this video. Uh, so what I wanted to show you guys was the, how I go about um, learning Japanese. So I usually use three tools, which is Udemy, Duolingo and Memrise. So the first section was to show you the, the Udemy part, but the screen and the OBS didn't capture that part. So in the next section, I'm so going to see the, the Duolingo and Memrise part. So um, what I decided for the next few months, I'm going to be showing you guys my progress. Um, hopefully I can do it day to day and I can show you how I go from complete beginner to somewhere understand the, the language and even speak it fluently. So this will be quite some, a long process. Um, maybe it will take me, give me seven or two years to at least be to reach native levels of uh, fluency is what I want because eventually I want to start traveling and uh, one of the first areas that I want to live and work is Japan. Japan I think is quite uh, awesome for me. I like the culture. I like uh, the people that were so nice, polite from what I've seen. You may get to enjoy the food. Um, it will be quite an experience and learning a language will definitely make my life comfortable there. And also to watch anime <laughs> without, without using subtitles um because uh all anime fans i think at some point will want to learn the language just to even enjoy the, the anime further without looking at subtitles so that's also another reason why i'm learning this language another reason I learn, i'm learning this language is to um give me an edge when it comes to my career i think when now when you're becoming if you want to become an international person learning a language will be very critical especially if you want to live and work in that country so i also want to live and work in japan see how it is and learning japanese will be quite beneficial to me so that's one of, one of the reasons i want to learn this so uh hopefully that i can get to a level where i can do the n5 test in december uh, if i pass it i'll be very motivated to continue to do now the n4 the n3 the n2 and the n1 because to live and work in Japan, you need to pass the N1 and N2 so that you at least your almost native fluency. And uh, that would be really awesome. If I can do that, maybe then I can pick up another language like Spanish and French, which would be uh, very beneficial. So at least now that in my skill tree, <laughs> at least I love uh, English, Kiswahili, Japanese, Spanish, and French. So I can live and work uh, comfortably uh, across the world which is what i want to do become an international person i don't think staying in one spot uh, i think it's, if you stay in one spot you can really limit your horizons your exposure so i want to be an international person even out also i want to also be international people so they can live and work uh, wherever they please if you feel the country they are in it's um, stuck they can just move on to another country Another reason is the Japanese passport is very strong. You can literally travel to almost every country in this world. I think it's the strongest passport. I think there are only like six countries you can travel to. So if you can even get a Japanese passport, that would be awesome. It means you can go anywhere in the world without needing a visa. As compared to the Kenyan passport, <laughs> which I think most of the countries that you can travel to are just the African countries. So if you get a Japanese passport, that would be awesome. Which means I can travel wherever I want and live there for three months without needing a visa so that's really good especially if you have someone who's who's uh, outgoing and want to travel the world getting a strong passport will be the key especially if you're coming from a third world country like uh, kenya so hope you guys enjoy this series if you have any comments suggestions please please let me know in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next week thank you okay so now you're on my phone um let's just go to the first app which is duolingo so i got a trial version for the for the plus which makes which lets me uh, do the lessons without the ads the ads are crazy it's very it's very annoying it's not loading because of the they can slow because of the internet or i think it's, it's being camera shy it's being recorded on YouTube. I don't know, it keeps boring me this feel. 
so now this is the duolingo i did most of it um last saturday <laughs> most of the of unit one last saturday but um now for unit two you do really need you to know katakana so that's why i want to finish with uh, this part the section two for this so that now i finish hiragana katakana then i can do unit two in peace but now what i do is come to the, the hiragana section you can see i'm slowly but surely learning the hiraganas you can see the duck uh, the dakuon which is uh, the hiragana with the dakuten for some of them they're going to do now the combos finish with that small small uh whatever long vowels finish that then now go to the katakana section learn this so, uh, so the 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 vowel system for the japanese is quite crazy this i'm not even going to kanji <laughs> which is a monster on its own and this is supposed to be the easiest the hiragana and the katakana is supposed to be the easiest so now i come learn the characters um so you can see learn nazu rich whatever whatever <coughs> so zoo so what is zoo zoo is su but now with dakuten right so that will be this and continue De. Then it's de. So de is te with the dark ten, which is that one. De. Then do will be two with the dark ten, which is that do. one. Da. Da will be ta with the dark ten. Da. And that. Da te. And that. Ha de. So that will be. This one. Hade. Mada. Mada, I think is not yet. If I'm not mistaken. So that is ma, then da. Ma does that be Mada. Then desu. This will be that. This. Ma de. Ma de. Ma de will be what? Be that ma de. Dashi. Will be that. Dashi. Dake. Will be that. Dake. Kado. Kado. Denki. Denki. Yeah, that she's saying denki or rinki. <laughs> Man. Denki. 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 De. Denki. Mm. Ki. <laughs> denki in Japanese means electricity, but in Sheng means poop. <laughs> denki. Sokudo. Sokudo as that one. Suzuki. Suzuki. Be this. Suzuki. Chijimu. 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 G. G is just this. Simple. Zu. Zu. So which one is HP? I think I'll go with this one. Yeah, that's wrong. So that is that one. Do it's that one. G is that one. Zo is that one. There is that one. Okay. Mado. Mado. So that will be ma. Then do. So we do. Desu. For expressing politeness. Dake. And dake is that one. Tada. That one, dashi. That one, nade. That one, deko. That one, doku. Hanaji. Hanaji. Biha. Na. Tenji. Nozbi. Kakudo. <laughs> Hanaji. Hanaji. Nozbi. So this kakudo, kakudo. That one. Kizuke. 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 That one. 
daruma daru that one hanaji hanaji that one suzuki that one dekake that one mitsubishi tomodachi 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 you think it's friend to mo no sorry to mo da chi So that's Duolingo for you. So now once I do katakana can I can proceed with the greetings, katakana, intro one, blah blah blah. Yeah, so that's that's, that's Duolingo. And now let's go to memorize. If I like memorize. So memorize now is another app I use. So now I think I am this one. Uh, I can't even remember the, <laughs> anything I learned. Uh, then you go to seven. Just to remind myself. That means I'm very well. Ka. Then ka. But. Nana. Nam, name is Namai. Namae. Namae. Express politeness that is desu. 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 Nani. Nani is what? Anata wa tensai desu. So now what I like about this is to force you to write. So anata wa tensai desu. Which means, which means you are a genius. Anata. Anata wa tensai desu. Anata and wa tensai. Is it tensai? This. Like that. So my name is Watashi. Watashi no namae wa this. Shimasu. Watashi no namae wa this. Watashi no namae wa this. So, so say my name be watashi wa no namae wa ken kyore desu. So that means my name is ken kyore. So what's your name? So what is this be anata no namae wa desu ka? So anata no namae. Namae wa desu ka. This be desu ka. With that one. Anata no namae wa nan desu ka? Oh, Nandiska. Tensai. <laughs> ah, Nandiska. It's Nandiska. Anata no. Anata no. It's a uh, na na anata. So when you use the no, it's for shows possession. Anata no, which is your watashi no my yeah. Yeah, so that's what I usually try to do. I try to combine all three of them. Uh, for now, list uh, gets me up to speed. But um, I'm sure I'll, I'll include other resources as time goes on. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and turn on bell notifications so, so that you get alerts when I post videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.